In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply complex numbers, or imaginary numbers, which have i, or the square root of negative 1 in them. When multiplying, we treat the i just like any other variable. At the end, if we have any exponents on i, we can evaluate that exponent, most commonly using the property that i squared is equal to negative 1. So, for example, when we have 3i times 7i, we treat that like multiplying 3x times 7x. Multiply the numbers, and then use your exponents. 3 times 7 is 21. i times i is i squared. But this i squared is the same as negative 1. So we really have 21 times negative 1, which makes it negative 21. i squared is negative 1. Other than that, treat the i like any other variable. So if we have a multiplication problem such as 5i times parentheses 3i minus 7, just like we would distribute if those were x's, we can distribute with the i's. 5i times 3i is 15i squared, and 5i times negative 7 is negative 35i. However, the i squared is negative 1. 15 times i squared is the same as 15 times negative 1. 15 times negative 1 is negative 15, and we have minus 35i for our final product. Multiplying with i is exactly like multiplying with any other variable. The only thing to watch out for at the end i squared is negative 1, and simplify with the negative 1 to get our final solution.